Good afternoon, welcome to Ebony Night Remote Motors in Scunthorpe. My name is Byron, I'm here to show you around this 2015 15 plate Audi A4 2 litre TDI S Line Ultra, finished off in moonshine blue. This particular vehicle has one previous keeper on the V5 and the HPI report and boasts full service history. First things first, we're going to do a quick walk around of the vehicle, then when we get back around to the start, I'll show you the car once again but in greater detail. These videos are brutally honest, as we're using to prep from in our Volkswagen Audi Specialist Workshop, and we give you a very clear picture of the true condition of the car and what we're prepared to do to them prior to sale. Now we're getting back around to the start, I'm going to zoom back in and we'll look at the car panel by panel, starting at the near side front. So the near side front wing looks in good condition, both near side doors look good and the near side rear quarter looks good. Near side front alloy is a nice condition alloy, one or two age related marks but no major damage and the near side front tyre is approximately 5mm remaining. Moving down the near side, all the panel work looks in good condition, paintwork looks good. One small chip on the rear quarter there for us to polish up and touch in our body shop. Near side rear alloy is another nice condition alloy, one or two age related marks but no major damage. And the near side rear tyre is approximately 4mm. Looking back down the near side down to make sure we haven't missed anything, the rear quarter is in good condition, both near side doors look good and the near side front wing looks good as well. Moving around the rear of the car now, we're going to check out the rear bumper and lower plastics to start with. Near side rear bumper corner looks good, rear bumper in the centre looks good, couple of light marks in the loading area but no major damage, offside bumper corner looks good as well. Tail lights and tailgate also looks in good condition, rear screen looks good and along the roof lining is in good condition too. Looking down the offside of the car now, from rear to front. Offside rear quarter looks good. Both offside doors look good and the offside front wing looks good. Offside rear alloy, got another nice condition alloy, one or two age related marks, but no major damage and the offside rear tires approximately four or five mil. A tiny bit of lack appeal just on this offside door here. We'll get that uh, refinished in our body shop prior to sale. But moving down the offside of the rest of the panel work and paintwork looks good. A couple of light chips on that front wing to get touched in. Offside front alloy, nice condition alloy, one or two age related marks again, but no major damage. And the offside front tyre is approximately 5mm. Looking back down the offside now, making sure we haven't missed anything. Front wing looks good, both offside doors in good condition, and the offside rear quarter looks good. Moving around the front of the car now, I'm going to check out all lights and grills and the front bumper itself. All lights and grills look in good condition. And as for the front bumper, other than one or two age related marks for us to polish up and touch in, does look in good condition. That's polished there. A little bit of double sided tape, I believe, on the grill. We'll get that removed in our body shop prior to sale. Yeah, we'll just one or two other light bits and bobs to polish up and touch in, but other than that, looks in nice condition. Final panel to look over is the bonnet. If I get nice, I know you can see the condition of the panel is good. No major dents or scratches. Paintwork looks in good condition. The only thing to point out is you do expect to get one or two light stone chips because of the age and mileage of the car. We'll have these polished up and touched in in our body shop prior to sale. Before we make our way through the interior, we'll check out the front screen. Can't see any major damage on the screen. Uh, can't see any chips or cracks, one or two light surface marks, but other than that, looks in good condition. Now we're going to make our way through the interior. We'll start in the boot. It's a decent sized boot on these A4 saloons. You've got 60 40 split folding rear seats, all carpets and plastics, other than light wear and tear, look in good condition. And then the trims underneath the boot lid itself look good too. Moving through, rear door cars look good. There you have the half leather, half cloth S line interior. Bolster still firm, no excessive wear, no rips, no tears, no cigarette burns. Charcoal headliner throughout look good. Back to both front seats look good and the rear carpets are in nice condition as well. Moving through the front, front door cards are in good condition. Front carpets are good and there you have the front S-line leather cloth interior. Bolster still firm holding their shape, no excessive wear, no rips, no tears, no cigarette burns, no traces of any odours in this car. No signs of any dash repairs or plastic repairs at all. So pop the ignition on and we'll run through as much of the spec as we can. So we've got full electronic windows with electronic adjustable and heated side mirrors. Central locking controls just in front of the driver's door handle. Automatic lights and wipers in this car. Moving across we've got cruise control on the stock underneath the indicators. Up the centre console we've got the fully adjustable leather armrest, two usable cup holders. A six speed manual transmission, traction control, stop start. And we do have rear parking sensors as well. Electronic parking brake, 
we've got dual climate control air conditioning recirculation rear heated screen and we've got front heated leather seats as well all the mmi controls in the center will run through these the best we can now so running through we've got dab fm and am radio we've got auxiliary cd player and sd card capability there and we've got full telephone prep as well moving back over to the driver side we're finished off with this leather bound multi-function s-line steering wheel and this car is on 86,980 miles thank you very much for watching this video if you've got any questions about this car or any of our stock please give us a call on 01724 876 555 thank you